Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. In this video, we are going to learn how to add a custom domain name with our website. We have got two places from where we can connect a domain name with our website. So first of all, I'd love to show you both of the places from where we can get the custom domain settings. And after that, I'm going to walk you through step by step process of connecting a domain name with our website. So as the first option, let's say if you haven't yet published your website, now you want to publish by adding your custom domain. Simply, you have to click on this publish button. After that, to get the custom domain settings option, let's click on this custom domain. And here we go. We have to fill out these informations. You have to provide a project name here. We have to provide our domain name here. And then we have to connect these DNS records from our domain control panel. That's it. We are done for the first option. Then we have got the other option, which is, let's say if you have published your website already on Doric, now you want to connect a custom domain name. Simply find the website from your website dashboard and then let's click on this gear icon and let's click on this custom domain. And here we go. We have got these DNS records, which we have to point from our domain control panel. And here is the place where we have to enter our domain name. All right, so these are the two places from where we can start connecting our custom domain name. So let me just cross this out as the process is exactly the same and I'm going to show you the full process of connecting the domain name now. So let's click on this publish button. After that, I'm going to click on this custom domain and let me provide a project name for this website. So as an example, we can provide service X. You have to put your project details. And after that, we have to place our domain name here custom domain name so for me i'm going to use this domain name from namecheap so i'm going to copy this domain name from here let's copy and after that we have to go back to our builder paste the domain name here here we go you have to place your domain name in this field after that it's time to connect these dns records into our domain control panel so let me take you back to our domain register and after that let's click on this manage button and it is going to take us to this domain page and from where you have to make sure the name servers are selected to this Namecheap basic DNS. So let's select this one. After that, let's click on this advanced DNS option. From where we have to point our IP address and the other WW host. All right. So after coming here on this advanced DNS page, make sure there are no a record with this at the rate host. All right. So if there are any existing at the rate host, simply delete it. Let's click on delete and also make sure there are no CNAME record with this www host. If there are anything existing with this host, simply delete that record from here. And obviously we'll be able to add ours now. So let's click on this add new record from here. After that, if I take you back here, just take a look, we have got the type is a record with the host of at the rate. And then we have to provide this IP address value. So let me copy the IP address value from here. Let's go back to our domain control panel. Let's select the a record, provide the host of at the rate, and then we have to enter the IP address, which I just copied from this field, right? Now, let's go back again. After that, we have to click on this tick mark and here we go. Now we have to do one more thing. We have to add a CNAME record with the WW host by pointing to our own domain. So let's go back to our domain control panel. Let's copy our domain name from here. Copy. And after that, let's click on add new record. Let's select a CNAME record from here. After that, we have to add www as the host. And then the target URL is going to be our domain, right? So you have to place your domain in this field. Let's click on this tick mark. And again, we have to go back to our website builder. And then we have to click on this publish site. And the site is being published as you can see. And here we go, we have got our site published. Now, if we visit the website, we might going to see the website is, yeah, just take a look, within like seconds, it propagated. 
but it might going to take around few minutes to an hour to get everything working so if you are not being able to load your website or if this domain is not loading your website please don't get panicked don't worry it is going to work within like few minutes to an hour so this was the process of adding a custom domain to your website on Doric. I believe you have found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and please feel free to ask me if you have got any question by commenting below and visit us on www.doric.com for more information. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.